Yeah, time for us to talk ladies football. We're joined by Michelle Guinan and uh, Tras McManus, two of the players from the Offaly team who won the All-Ireland uh, Junior last year. You're into intermediate this year, though, girls, and uh, looking forward to the final uh, next week. Tras, to come to you uh, first on it, it must be huge for you to be into another final. Yeah, it's great for the team because um, we hadn't had a great start this year, so it's a great boost for us this year now to be into the final and have a, another chance at winning at a medal this year. Michelle, these finals come around very quickly because yourself and Siobhan were in here, I think, on our New Year's Day show when you were collecting yeah. your medals okay. and uh, back in with a chance of getting another one. Yeah, it's good because this is our third year in a row now in the Leinster final, so yeah, it's a good goal for us. Um, they do, because we three finals last year, mm -hmm. another one this year. So yeah, they are coming around quick, kind of getting used to them, but we won't complain. Um, it's important progress potentially as well. I mean, to win an intermediate Leinster would be huge considering where you were three or four years ago. Exactly, yeah. And I didn't even, a few people have said it to me during, during the week, I didn't even think about really like junior Leinster final last year and now an intermediate Leinster final this year. So it is good, like we're progressing all the time. So yeah, it's, it's good. Awfully ladies is on the up, so that's good. A couple of weeks ago, I was in O'Connor Park, uh, Travis was talking to you after the game. Uh, nervy enough finish uh, that game against London. You did the work in the first half and then managed to put the supporters through the middle in the second half. Yeah, it was a tough game now. We were uh, feeling it for the for the week after, but uh, yeah, I think we'll have to up our game now for the next match, though. Uh, Longford will be another step up, and uh, we'll have to put in a better second half performance, I think. Um, we did well, very well in the first half, and then just kind of let them come at us a bit mm -hmm. in the second half. We just sort of stood back a bit, so we'll have to um, change that now for this match. If you can move the ball like you did in the first half into that forward line, though, you've got lots of uh, potential scoring forwards there, like Cork and Therese Hickey's there. Obviously, Kim Fury had a really good game that day. Yeah, Kim is flying it now, and even in training now, she's um, scoring great points, and Therese is flying it as well. So, um, yeah, like if we, um, we can, if we give them the right opportunities, they can score, yeah. Michelle, obviously, you're coming into this game on the back for many of your players of an All Ireland final for the minors. Uh, they played some of those at uh, All Ireland Under 16C a couple of years ago. Now, there's even some of the Under 16s this year on that minor team. It must be a big boost uh, coming into the final for them to be into an All Ireland decider as well. Yeah, because uh, yeah, it is. It's good for them. That I was at the match yesterday. Played very well. Some very good footballers. You know, it's always good to have match practice before a Leinster final. And I don't think there's too many injury worries anyway. So. Um, yeah, it's good for the girls, hopefully, that, you know, knowing that they're in an All-Ireland final as well, that will give them confidence in a Leinster final, you know, because they're young and, you know, they're experiencing all these, for, for these you know, opportunities for the first time. So hopefully that will give them a good boost for the Leinster final. No one wants to hold back, but important both for that and for your intermediate campaign that no one picks up an injury over the next four weeks. Yeah, I see, that's the concern now. You know, Greg is doing his best. He's to try to get, get the minors ready for an All-Ireland final now, us ready for the Leinster final and then the qualifiers. So yeah, it's tough for all watching out, trying to not train too much, you know, be careful what you do with your club and likewise and plenty of physio, but it is, it's worrying really that, you know, there's so many minors and um, intermediates, but look, we just have to keep going on with it and Greg's doing the best he can with it, so. I suppose it's kind of a double-edged sword in a way, um, Trassa, because you lost quite a few players uh, from last year's team, but obviously it gives an opportunity to these young players to come in and get a chance of playing intermediate ladies football. Yeah, it is, it's great and... Um, Hopefully they'll, um, you know, enjoy it and st and keep it up and keep it going for the next few years. Um, like I'd say, we'll have a great team um, when this minor team gets to a and gets to intermediate level as well. Um, so um, yeah, it's great. It's great um, to have them there. You know. Fair play to Greg as well. It must be a big job trying to juggle that many players and their progression at the same time. Yeah, he's doing a great job now. In fairness, now, because it is hard. Like, um, we do have a small panel for both um, for both teams, and there is a lot of interchange of players. But um, everyone seems to be enjoying it at the moment, though, and everyone gets on great. You know, young and old. Probably helps, uh, Michelle, when you're going to finals and so on as well. That just, I guess, everyone's probably in a good mood on the back of that going into the next few weeks as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's a bit of a boost. You know, compared to the start of the year. You know, it wasn't going as well as we would have liked, um, but now we're going good and, you know, everyone's spirits are up for training, you know, everyone's getting along, enjoying playing football, which is the main thing. So, yeah, no, it'd be, and there's a few characters on the team, like every mm. team, so there is a good atmosphere going on to matches. So. What's the feeling about playing Longford? Because I saw them in the final against Westmead two years ago, at um, three years ago now, actually, at intermediate level. They've been there for a while trying to get up to senior and um, obviously they're a seasoned and campaign team. Yeah, Longford would be strong and we're, we're well aware of that, like, you know, but... Hopefully um, we can put up the challenge, but you know we'd fancy ourselves against Longford. You know they didn't do, you know they were expected to come through in the semi final, you know fairly well, and they didn't. So hopefully we'll take something from that and build on us. But uh, 
no, we 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 have it fairly long for it's just that we'd like to think and mm. hopefully that we can, you know, put it up to them now in the day. Trusted, probably one of the more impressive performances you put in the league this year was actually against Longford in the final round. There was very little between you, really. Yeah, we did, um, which would give us more confidence, you know. Um, like, they're a very physical team, um, so we'll have to sort of um, address that. And, like, Greg was explaining to the younger players as well that how to get around the players, you know, and, and um, use their speed and that instead of um, their... Because they wouldn't have the same mm-hmm. physical presence. But um, we definitely... Um, we definitely would um, fancy ourselves against them anyways, you know. That is a trick maybe, to be elusive rather than trying to go into contact with some of the players you have because there's five or six very small players in your team this year. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. And um, we, we, they can get physical out um, very easily. But um, yeah, so it, we've been practicing that in training, trying to sort of use our speed and um, talents more so than our physical presence, you know, especially the younger players. Well, Michelle, I suppose if you win this game, not only is this a championship win, but it would also mean you skip around further into the intermediate championship. It's actually quite a reward if you win this because you go into round two of the intermediate. Exactly, yeah, and it gives us more time to prepare. You know, go back to train and go work on things that we need to. You know, yeah, if we won the Leinster final, it would be great to get into the second round qualifiers because you know it does give us that more time, and especially with the minors when they're in the All Ireland final and mm-hmm. you know they're training. So if we can just buy that bit of extra time, you know, within training, that'd be great. Are you looking forward to making the step up to play All Ireland intermediate? Oh, I am, yeah. Um, sure, last year we were playing intermediate teams for challenge mm-hmm. matches, you know. So, you know, I'm kind of used to it now at this stage and you know, you're getting there. But I suppose it's a different story. We go into championship, it's more intense, there's more pressure on you. But yeah, I know it's a step up. It's good to be building on beating better teams, meeting better players. You know, you can only improve from that, like. so. Yeah, because um, Tracy, we're watching uh, some of your neighbours in recent times, and I know you'd run with uh, Tipperary at intermediate as well. And uh, Kildare have gone up over the levels in recent years. Westmead have gone from junior up to senior in a very short period of time. It can be a good time to try and win back-to-back championships, just that little bit of momentum, maybe. Um, yeah, it would. Um, like, um, it would be um, uh, a great, um, be great for the for the younger players really to to come on and um, win win a Leinster medal. And um, you know, if we if we get the uh, get the encouragement from that we'd, um, we'd have a great chance of winning the All-Ireland yeah. mm. Well look, fingers crossed um, for both of you next week it's uh, been a great run for you particularly over the last uh, 13 months or so and uh, the very best to look against Longford a very strange location of Clane uh, next week for yeah. the final one would have thought a Westmead venue would have been a better way to go uh, but very best to look to both of you again and many thanks for you popping in today Thank, Thank you, you. Thank you. Thank you.